Hey there friends and video game fans, hey, got Shanked here with another special feature for you. You know, I've been thinking a lot about games using the D&D license, and of those games, Temple of Elemental Evil is among my favorite. Now this is a game that is far from perfect, but it did a lot of things extremely right. But, I'm not going to talk about those things tonight. I'm going to talk instead about a little uh, cheat that I found. So, I'm going to show you right now how to create a character that has all stats, all, all six ability scores of 18. Okay, so right here we're in the basic. This is where you can roll, okay? And uh, let's just roll. Let's see. Here we got, oh my god, 10, 10, 12, 9, 11, 10. Okay, so this is trash. We're not going to use this. But you see these yellow boxes right here? This is important. you got to remember where these are, okay, for what we're going to do. I'm going to click on Advanced over here. Over here, I can pump one of these stats all the way up to 18. Now I'm just going to click and drag this 18 over to where I remember this yellow box being just about here. Uh, what happened there? Well, well, let's go back to basic and let's see. Oh my gosh, that 10 became an 18. Okay, well wait now, let's go back. Let's make another 18. And it doesn't matter which box you use over here. But we're just going to take it over, drag it to the second one. Huh? Oh. Oh, what's that? Ah. Uh, you see where I'm going with this? Okay. So we got... Uh. Yeah. Okay. So we're just going to do this a total of six times. And just like that, I've got all 18s right across the board. So we'll just drag these 18s all the way over here. And it's just that simple. I can go on and make my uh, character however I want him to be. So that's how you do it. And yeah, look at that. I got 18s all the way across. Check this out. I make him a half orc. I got me a twenty strength. Ooh yeah, I can make him a I can make him a dwarf. Yeah, twenty constitution. That's a lot of hit points. <laughs> Alright. And so that's how you do it. So here I am in the Temple of Elemental Evil, down in the catacombs in fact. Came in through a secret back entrance. And here are my characters that uh I made using this uh, this kind of cheat and uh, yeah you I probably just gave it away but I decided to recreate the Justice League a little bit so uh, starting off my lineup I got Batman he's a lawful good fighter rogue and uh, of course you know he's got dodge deflect arrows combat expertise uh, improved unarmed strike improved trip improved faint and improved initiative for his feats and uh, so he's actually uh, my tank with his really stupid high AC he's got some elven armor on Of course this is an alternate DC universe where Batman and the Justice League find themselves in Greyhawk so uh, he's got himself a few weapons here he's got throwing daggers cuz you know he's used to having his bat his little bat stars that he throws you know and then uh, here he's got a hammer that's like a special bat star that um, if he has somebody like a skeleton that he wants to throw something at then he can throw that at them and uh, next up we got Oracle here and uh, Oracle is of course oh crap I should have prepared some spells oh, I didn't realize she'd leveled up uh, so yeah, Oracle, I actually didn't give her all 18s, because, you know, that's not true to the to the story, so I gave her some, you know, she's not exactly in a wheelchair, but she's got some weaker physical stats here, so I keep her in the back, and uh, she's mainly there to provide support during fights, and of course she creates a lot of the magical items that Batman uses. Next up we got Robin, and uh... Robin's just a straight rogue 
and uh, he would be using a quarter staff, but then we found this magical staff right here, and so that's Robin's main weapon. He's got dodge, mobility, weapon, finesse, which was a wasted feat because this is not a light weapon. Oh well. Uh, but you can see, you know, yeah, he's he's a halfling. I made him a halfling because Robin's a kid. Then we got Aquaman, and Aquaman is a is an elf cleric. Uh, because Atlanteans, like, they're basically just water elves, right? You know, they're sort of, they're sort of like humans, but not really, right? Aquaman's, I, I don't know. I don't know that much about the Justice League. Uh, but whatever. Uh, he's a cleric. He's got the water and animal domains. Of course he's got the animal domain, so that he can charm all those crawfish we find. Uh, giant crawfish, that is. And, uh, and then we got here Wonder Woman, and she's just a straight, uh, neutral good barbarian. And, uh, I made her a half-orc, because she doesn't need intelligence and charisma, but then she can have that superhuman 21 strength. So, uh, let's go looking for some fights. Hey, Batman, keep up. And, uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, by the way, of course, I've got, uh, Wonder Woman equipped with her shield and sword for this and let's go fight this lady okay so Batman Batman can you do a charge attack he needs a straight line that's a shame okay might as well move around into a flanking position eh there we are okay now Aquaman with your cleric powers what can you do let's do hold person yeah because name me one episode of the Justice League where uh, Aquaman doesn't paralyze somebody with mind magic. That's definitely... Oh, no. Oh, okay. Well, here we go. Wonder Woman to the rescue. Oh, miss. And Robin probably can't charge either. Well, that's a shame. Okay, so Oracle, we're going to just move you up here, and ah, I moved too far now. She can't cast any of her spells, can she? Well, I guess we'll just move over here, because that seems like a thing to do. Okay, here comes Batman. Let's do a Stunning Fist. Right? Oh, shit, he doesn't have Stunning Fist. Never mind. Let's do a Trip Attack. Yeah! And he has improved trip, so he gets a attack of opportunity, but that missed. Ooh, let's bring up these stats. What's that AC she's got? AC 20? Oh, man. I should be hitting her a little more often than that, but oh, well. There we go. Aquaman stabbed her with his long spear. Way to go, Aquaman. And... Bam. Wow. Okay, we gotta... We, there's gotta be some way that we can... Uh... Let's do... Let's do a Ray of Enfeeblement on her. Let's see if that helps. It missed. What's her touch AC? Oh, man. Not that her touch AC is that high. We just uh, really had a shitty modifier there. Okay, well, uh, that trip attack worked really well, so let's just do it again. Yeah. There we go. Oh, she's a rogue, so we can't sneak attack her. That's interesting as well. And there it is. That's how you kill woman. Cool. What do we got here? Ooh, we got... Nice. Let's give that to Batman. Purple? Yeah, we're 60s Batman now. Oh, yes. And, uh... 
I think Robin can probably take this. Can he? Uh, no, he can't really use that. Uh, because his dex is too high. If we use that, then his uh, dex modifier will be limited to four. So, oh, Aquaman can't really use it. Uh, I guess we'll give it to Wonder Woman. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, because it's uh, it's green, and that's that's Wonder Woman's colors. I'm sure. Right. Oh, here's a a white cloak. We'll give that. We'll figure out who to give that to. A magic ring. Magic short sword. That was good. And we got a key to this chest. My name is Falrinth. I blah blah blah. Kill you. What's this place? You would deign to question me. Blah blah blah. We're the Justice League. All right, Aquaman. Let's summon a. Uh, Hmm. Dog. A sea dog. Yes, of course. And Wonder Woman is gonna go into her barbarian rage. And can we do a charge attack? Yeah! Boom! Oracle, you can back up and cast haste on everybody. Including the dog. Yes, the sea dog. Because Aquaman has summoned him from the sea. And now, kill that imp. Yeah. Oh no, now he's invisible though. Hmm. Well, let's, let's keep on, uh, let's keep on tripping this imp. Aw, oh, that's too bad. Let's silence him. Yes. That's going to stop him from casting other spells. I should have done that right at the beginning. Oh, well. Damn. All right, fuck this. Here's what we're going to do. Fireball. Boom. Oh. Wait, that was a bad idea. But we pretty much got this. Oh! What happened? He disappeared. He just vanished. Huh. Let's just, uh, let's rest up. Let's wait, see what happens. Nothing happens. Ah, uh, there you are, you bitch. There we go. He's he's done for this time. And there he is. He's dead. Yeah. Go Robin. Finish him off. Cool, we got some magic bracers. We got some gems. And we got a key. Okay, whoa, that's great. And a dagger, too. You see, Robin's got lots of daggers because he throws things sometimes. Then, of course, when you're playing a superhero, you can only get the... You can only accept the highest hit points per roll. So, uh... I'm just going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to quick save my game. And since we're rolling up Robin here, he's going to be a 7th level rogue. So we're going to do some math here. He's got 49 hit points. And uh, so that means the max roll he can get is uh, 6 plus 4 because he's got a d6 hit die. So 10. So we're going to get as close to 59 as we can. So let's just go ahead, we'll just keep these skills all maxed out. Oops. So, generally as a rule of thumb, if I'm like two or three points away from the desired result, then I will accept it. Uh, 55, that's... 
Oof. Eh, we'll, well, we'll keep it. We'll keep 55. And then Oracle's gonna level up again. And that's gonna mean she's got more spells to learn. So we'll just... Oracle, of course, gathers information on behalf of Batman. Oracle, of course, is always learning new spells. Uh... Well, let's see. What would be good? Let's do Fire Shield, so Batman can have a Fire Shield in combat. And... Uh, stone Skin, of course. So that Batman can have Stone Skin when he goes to fight evildoers. And so that's how you do it, you guys. That's how you uh, you have a character with all 18s for ability scores. That's how you play, you role play the Justice League. And uh, that's uh, that's how you kill Falrinth. So, yeah, good walkthrough. So, uh, thanks for watching. My name's Headgot Shanked, and the game is Temple of Elemental Evil. And uh, it's worth looking at. It's definitely worth playing. It's a really good game. So, that's it. Have a good night. We must first eliminate Batman from the scene! <laughs>